It all began on a Thursday. I remember because we had PE on fifth period, and sometimes the class would finish early with every student yes, rushing into an early beginning recess. In one of those particularly long recesses, my good friend Yaref and I were sitting on a bench when he suddenly started talking about the 3DS game he just finished playing. The year was 2013, and the game was Fire Emblem Awakening. Of course, anyone that's ever played the Smash knew Fire Emblem existed, and probably assumed Awakening to be the third installment, uh, just after the Marth one and the Egg one, right? The series at first glance was something I had absolutely no interest in. I also didn't have a 3DS. But Yaref insisted on me trying it, convinced I would like it and lent me his own 3DS. Uh, next day, just in time for the weekend, he brought the console and passed it on with a single piece of advice. Don't train Frederick, he's an XP thief. I loved Awakening so much. I liked the characters, the gameplay, the story, the music, the aesthetics, the, the customization. In my eyes it was the perfect game. Granted, I hadn't really played that many games by then, but the impression it left on me. Yeah, maybe I'm not the most experienced Fire Emblem player in the world. After all, the series is old enough that starting 10 years ago can be considered too late. But I know, I know for a fact, that I'm the most passionate person in the world about it. This passion, this true love, was what led me to start uploading videos in the first place. Where did it all go wrong? Three years and a half in, more than 600 videos later, the channel is sitting at 54 subscribers, and I'm honestly happy about the number. I I just can't pull off the horrible thumbnails, uh, fake new game rumors and irrelevant opinions that we all know get views so easily. I, I feel like I owe it to my love for the series to treat the channel with a bit of respect. And yet, some months ago I found a Fire Emblem channel that hurt me in my very soul. The channel's name is Polaris Guild, and he currently has 273 subscribers, with almost 300 videos uploaded. I hate him with everything I have. I hate the way he talks, the way he begs for views, how he has the ugliest thumbnails I've seen in my life. I hate that he only truly started focusing in Fire Emblem, when one of his Path of Radiance videos got a lot of views. I hate how he's so desperate to create a community talking continuously about it anywhere, and yet I can't deny the fact that he has more subscribers than me. Not more views, mind you. Uh, most of his videos get the same views as mine, if not less. But people somehow look at his content and think, yeah, I, I want to see more from this guy. You know the worst part? I, I think he truly loves the series too. He, he really does. He's just too consumed by this fantasy million subscriber YouTuber idea to actually there make content about what he really enjoys. Polaris Guild has shown me the light. Love is not enough. Because no matter how much I love this series, how much love I have for it, people will simply not care. Love is not a strong enough fuel to drive me into making a better channel. But hatred, raw, poisonous hatred is. You see, Polaris Guild has these little subscriber goals posted on his channel info. In my opinion, 
a random multiple of 50 just lacks meaning, lacks purpose. However, beating someone does. So today, Pomum declares war on the entire Fire Emblem community. Presenting the best channel goals you will ever see. Each and every one of these silhouettes, these five silhouettes, represent a Fire Emblem YouTuber I hate. A Fire Emblem YouTuber I consider myself better than and want to surpass. The first one, and admittedly the easiest to achieve, is Polaris Guild himself. When we have buried him into the ground, I release a new video with the next target, and so on. The time for peace is over. Today, war begins. 